Well, we're talking about growing in our relationship with God in our walk with Jesus Christ. And we read from 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 5 yesterday and said, Beside this, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue, and to virtue knowledge, and to knowledge temperance, and to temperance patience, and to patience godliness, and to godliness brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness charity. And verse 8 says, for if these things, these seven things that he's just listed, for if these things be in you and abound, they make you that ye shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. If, if you build on your faith, if you take your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, and then with the Holy Spirit's help in the word of God, in the community of God's people, the church, you begin to build with these things. Peter tells us these things, and, and they abound in you. In other words, they're growing. You will be neither barren nor unfruitful. Um, barren means to, to not be able to have children. Uh, unfruitful, well, that that's what's happened this summer a lot of my gardening friends have told me that they've had plants that would grow, but they wouldn't put on any flowers, wouldn't, wouldn't have any fruit. So, you know, you invested some time and some energy and some effort into these plants, but they didn't give you what you were looking for. And he says that that won't happen in your life when you build on your faith, when you attempt to grow in your walk with Jesus Christ. And he says, you won't be barren, you won't be unfruitful, in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. In John chapter 15 and verse 8, Jesus says, Herein is my Father glorified, that ye bear much fruit. So shall ye be my disciples. To bear fruit is something that God wants from us. He wants for us to grow in our relationship with him. He wants for us to bear fruit in our lives. Well, what's that fruit look like? Well, Galatians tells us it looks like this, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, <clears throat> meekness, temperance. Uh, against such, he says, there is no law. That's what fruit looks like in our lives. And Jesus tells us you'll know them by their fruit. And so, when we string all of these, these verses together and we take a look at this, what we see is, is that it's important for us as followers of Jesus to grow because this is going to make us fruitful in our walk. This is going to, it's going to do a couple of things. One thing it's going to do is, is it's going to put us in a position where we can be an influence in other people's lives, where we can lead other people to Jesus. It's also going to transform our character and it's gonna little by little we're gonna grow and we're gonna become more and more and more and more back to the image of God like God wants for us to be more and more and more into the image of our Lord Jesus Christ and so so he's gonna he's gonna transform us and as that happens as we bear fruit this love comes out of our lives that brings glory to God. And that's why we're here. That's our job, is to bring glory to our Creator, to bring glory to our Redeemer, and to live in this world as His representatives, as His ambassadors. I just want to encourage you this morning. <clears throat> put yourself in a position where you can grow. Take God's Word and get into it. Spend time in prayer with Jesus. Find a good church where they preach the Bible. And, and listen to good and godly counsel and allow that to, to, to transform your life. The Holy Spirit's at work in you and he's going to do a good work in you. I guarantee you. God bless you. I, if you. If you don't know that the Holy Spirit is in you, well then that's a, that's a great clue in your life to say, I don't think I know Jesus. And if that's the case, then you need to receive Jesus Christ. Have a great day.